I've been a financial advisor now for well over 20 years. And without a doubt, the number one question I get asked is, you can probably guess it, hey, Asul, do I have enough money to retire? And in today's video, I'm going to share with you three ways that you can determine for yourself whether you have enough money to retire. So let's first talk about what the three methods are, and we'll dig deeper into each of them. The first one is just a put your finger up in the wind and just follow your intuition. I don't recommend that, but there's a more robust version of that that we'll talk about later in the, the video. The second one is to use a free online retirement planner calculator. There's a lot of really good ones online, much better than Excel. So we'll talk about that. And then the third one is to hire somebody like myself to help guide you through uh, this, this determination. Let's go for a walk and we'll talk about all three of these. The first one I want to start with is the uh, online calculators. There's hundreds of them that have popped up. The first one I want to talk about is, is one where I've met the founder, but I haven't actually used the software yet. And that is Projection Lab. And you can find Projection Lab at projectionlab.com. They have a, a free model. Uh, and they also have a $9 a month model. And you know what? Life is too short. You know, if you're going to use a tool like that, pay the $9 a month, uh, at least for three or four months while you're doing the calculations, it's going to cost you less than, you know, what a, a Big Mac meal at McDonald's is going to cost you. Um, so anyways, I, I like that tool. Uh, like I said, I haven't used it, but what I do like is I like... And you can see here in the images that are being shown the decision tree analysis that it uses. You know, one of the things I've talked about is I think it's good for everybody to have two numbers when it comes to retirement. One is a is an age, you know, by this age for a lot of people, it's 65. You know, I've got what I've got by 65 and I'm going to retire because I want to enjoy some of my life or you know, it's, I've got this much nest egg, you know, let's say it's a million dollars. Let's say your stretch goal is a million dollars. And, and by goodness, by the time you get to a million dollars, you're going to retire. And, and looking at some of these images here, it seems like that decision tree analysis is integral to what they do. So I did meet the fi the, the founder, Kyle Nolan, um, and I like the way he's thinking about this space. So it's it's a tool that I think is worthwhile checking out. The second uh, online free online calculator is honestmath.com. Those of you that watch my videos know that uh, I use this, this software a lot. I like it because it does have a Monte Carlo uh, simulator, as do all three of these that I'm going to talk about today. Uh, none of these are affiliate links. I don't accept affiliate links. Um, so uh, I'm not an affiliate on any of these. I've just, I want to help you find a tool that can help you answer the question that you have. And I, that's really what the purpose of this channel is, is to help everyday people answer questions on one of the most important questions that we we have, which is our retirement. So the second one, honestmath.com, you've seen me use it. I like it because it's high level, doesn't get caught in the weeds. You know, the, the software that I use professionally is very detail-oriented, and it has to be because people are paying us uh, for that. I've got a fiduciary duty to them, and I want to give them as, as accurate of an answer, as precise of an answer as I can. Uh, and so detail is important for that. But, you know, for many of us, Let's say you're 10 years away from retirement. You know, there's so many factors that none of us know about yet that you know, all this detail, I, I think, is, is, is noise, frankly. And I think having a high-level feel for where you're at and what your goals are and how you're progressing. I mean, we don't know how our health is going to be uh, if we're 10 years from retirement. We don't know what tax rates are going to be. We don't know what inflation is going to be. We don't know what the stock market is going to be. And that's why I'm a fan of high-level analysis, and I think Honest Math does a nice job uh, of that. Okay, the third one is newretirement.com, and this is the one that I haven't used, but somebody I respect does use it, and he loves it. He's a, a fellow YouTuber. His name is Joe Kuhn. If you haven't checked out his, his YouTube channel, you should, K-U-H-N, uh, and it's remarkable how many similarities Joe and I have 
in our lives. But I, I really like his YouTube channel. He built a very robust uh, Excel sp spreadsheet that he used to determine when he was 55, I believe, when he retired. Um, but now he, he doesn't recommend that anymore. He says newretirement.com is so much better than what he had before. And full disclosure, the link uh, in my show notes for this is not my affiliate link. I don't accept affiliates yet, um, but it's Joe's affiliate link. Since Joe's the one that told me about it, uh, if you decide you like it, use that link so Joe can, Joe can get a little bit of support for his YouTube channel. So those are the three online calculators. Now, you know, it's one thing to have the tool. It's another thing to have the knowledge to apply the tool. And I think a, a lot of the a lot of the benefit that comes from working with a professional, working with a financial advisor is the wisdom that they can bring to the table. But we're going to get to that in a minute. But first, I want to talk about what I, I jokingly did at the open. You know, I think I feel like I have enough money. Right. I don't think that you should do that, particularly, you know, when it comes to giving notice at your job uh, and telling your boss, hey, I'm going to be retiring, I'm leaving. You want to have as much clarity as you can. Now, we all want to have certainty. And unfortunately, for the factors I just mentioned, you don't know what your what your health situation is going to be. You don't know what inflation is going to be. You don't know what stock market returns are going to be. Blah, 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 blah. The list goes on and on, right? So as much as we'd like for us to be able to have uh, certainty, it's just impossible. So I think what you want is as much clarity and I've done some talking about the 4% rule. A number of other YouTubers have done some talking about the 4% rule. Will that get you in the ballpark? You know, if you say, I want to live off of $40,000 a year off of my portfolio. Um, in addition, you're going to have Social Security, whatever other sources of income that you might have. But from your portfolio, from your investments, if you say, I want $40,000 a year, is 4% is $40,000 a decent estimate? I think yes. I think yes, it, it is a decent estimate. It's a good place to start. But as you get close, as you get to um, um, actually pulling the trigger and saying, okay, I am going to retire, you want to be careful. Okay, full disclosure, there's a train coming. So hopefully it won't be too loud. Uh, but I'll keep going. So that's the second one. And then the third one, unfortunately, the train is going to go over me. Stick with me, though, because I think this is the most important one. And that is, again, when it comes to an important decision like this, you want to you wanna have as much clarity as you can. And it's not the tool. It's not the rule. It's not the 4% rule. It, it's not the online calculator, as good as those are. It's, it's the wisdom that comes with, you know, this is what I've done for my life. You know, this is my, what you've done with your profession, you're much better at than I'll ever be. And this is what I've done with my life. And I've, I've seen hundreds of different families enter retirement. I've seen what works. I've seen what hasn't worked. For instance, in the example I just used, you know, you want $40,000 a year off of your portfolio, million dollars, 4% it'll worth. Well, guess what? You know, people don't say, I want $40,000 and I'll let the government takes what the government takes, right? What if, you, what if your tax rate's 20%? What if it's 30%? What if it's 15%? Those are all very different numbers. And so just thinking, you know, I've seen all these things play out before, particularly over 20 years. You know, I'm at the tail end of my career. I've seen uh, about as many situations as, as, as can be seen. So I'm very fortunate in that. So, and it's also not just the numbers. It's the soft aspects of things, right? Uh, if I ask you, what do you think you want to do in retirement? Because this whole conversation with an advisor is going to start with, you know, what does retirement look like to you? And the reason that's important to us isn't because we're nosy, although yeah, it is kind of interesting sometimes what I hear. Uh, it's not that we're nosy, but... You know, what's it going to cost, essentially, is what we're looking at. What is your spending going to be? And based on that, you know, what kind of portfolio do we need? And another really important soft issue is, you know, what's your risk tolerance look like? And yes, you can take a free online test that'll say, 
you know, you're a 6.3 out of 10 on the risk scale. But are you really? You know, if only it were that easy. And, and so one of the things somebody like myself is doing is we're talking to you about what's happened in the past, what you've done in the past and other scary times in the market. But then we're also realizing that how you feel about risk is going to feel a lot different once you're no longer earning a paycheck. So it's the wisdom of things like that. So the tool is nice. The tool is important. But I would argue that the, the operator of the tool, the advisor, uh, is, is much more important than the tool. Give me an Excel spreadsheet and I can help somebody plan a, a, a very comfortable retirement with a lot of, a lot of clarity. Um, but you know, it, it, I can do that with an Excel spreadsheet because I've been doing that so long. I don't use an Excel spreadsheet because there's better tools for it, but I can do that. So it's, it's really the operator more than the tool. The tool makes it easier for the operator. I should turn around this way so you can see where I'm at. So that's part of it. And then, you know, people will say, well, hey, Asul, you know, uh, working with a financial advisor, it ain't cheap. <laughs> you know, mea culpa, uh, that, that is true. Now, you know, it, my firm, I've, I've got a, a fairly large team and that's expensive and I want to have the best people on the team. And I want them to have a career path and, you know, f- for the company to be a place that they can build their career for for 20 years. And so, you know, we pay our team well and and we do that so we can bring those services to two to people. So unfortunately, it's not inexpensive, but I look at the value and what is the value of what's being provided. And just to ask yourself, you know, how simple would it be for you to make a 10% mistake um, with your portfolio. I see it all the time, people coming to me and, you know, they had a million dollars and now they're down to 600,000 because they were managing it themselves. And now they're they're saying, oh, I don't want to do it anymore. And it just breaks my heart because I wish I'd been able to get to them ahead of time and, you know, maybe convince them that their asset allocation was wrong or some of their investments were very risky investments. And yeah, if they paid off, they were going to pay off well. But, you know, the nice thing is you only have to build that that first retirement nest egg, where it's, whether it's 500000 a million, or, or $2 million. The nice thing is you only have to build that once. And once you have that nest egg, then job number one is don't Job number one is don't lose that nest egg. And, and job number two is don't forget what job number one, one is. So, uh, yes, uh, we're, we're not inexpensive. People ask me all the time, what do fee-only financial advisors cost? Um, and, you know, it, it varies, right? Most, most firms, larger firms that have a team that, you know, want to provide um, careers for their team, most of those firms are going to use a percentage of assets under management, um, and, and the number that you hear a lot is 1%, but 1% across the board, somebody else's 1% may not be the next person's 1%. It depends on, you know, what your full end cost is. So if somebody's using mutual funds that maybe are more expensive, your full end cost might be one and a half percent. Uh, somebody else is using very low cost exchange traded funds or individual stocks. Uh, they might be charging, let's say, one and a quarter percent, but their full in cost could actually be less. But in general, you know, you're looking at one to one and a half percent at at the upper end of that. And again, it's is this person going to beat Warren Buffett? Is this person going to be the world's best stock picker? I don't think that's how you should choose your financial advisor. I think you should choose them based on Am I going to make better decisions? Am I more likely to stay the course during scary times? Am am I going to make better decisions, have a better portfolio? I mean, the difference between being 50-50 in the stock market as an asset allocation and being 60-40 is a big, it can over 25 years be a big difference. And so, uh, and the 60-40 in theory is going to outperform the 60-40 in theory is going to outperform the 50-50 portfolio. No guarantees on that, but getting that asset allocation right is super important. So anyways, those are the three ways uh, to determine for yourself whether you have enough money. Uh, 
The first one is to use one of these online calculators. I, I did not mention the cost, but they're either free or, or very inexpensive in the order of like $10 a month, $120 a year or something like that. Or you can hire a professional to help you out with it and, and handle the complexities that come with when you've got enough money to retire. You want to go out and enjoy retirement. You don't want to worry about um, all these other things that financial advisors worry about, tax rates and long-term capital gains and, and changes in IRAs and, and um, required minimum distribution, stuff like that. So those are your three choices. I hope this video has been helpful. If it has been, I want you to consider watching this video here that talks about five reasons to retire as soon as you can. I'll see you in there. Bye-bye.